Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and I'm going to try to do my best to do a guide to explain miscellanea on RuneScape. So, a lot of you guys have heard of miscellanea and making great profit on it. And these things are true. You can make pretty good profit off of it on a me account. And for an Iron Man, it's really great for Herbler, and that's how I got my Herbler on my Iron Man. So I'm going to really go over what you need to do. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do to start getting into Miscellanea is you need to start the quest Throne of Miscellanea. And I highly recommend um, Royal Trouble. You're not going to get the best out of your kingdom or Miscellanea if you don't do Royal Trouble. So really get those two quests done. They're intermediate quests. Um, one, I think, is longer than the other. Throne of Miscellanea is a little bit longer. And um, they're just, they're not too hard and they're worth getting done. So to start that quest, first of all, we're going to be in Reloka. Um, we're going to take a boat to start the quest. But I believe um, the best way to really get going to Reloka, it, Relica, sorry, is to teleport to your house, to the Fremenic Providence, or to, you can use the Fairy Ring, teleport, A-J-R, and teleport, and run over here. There's also a fairy ring at Miscellanea that you can use. But basically, we're going to start here just to show you where to start the quest. And I believe it is going to be... Hmm, I haven't done this in a while. That's Lunar Island. You're going to talk to one of these boats. Or, because they're going to travel basically to you to Miscellanea. I cannot remember for the life of me which one it is, but we're going to find out real fast. Okay, so the miscellaneous is here, and here we are. So you're going to take the fisherman, or not the fisherman, the sailor, and he'll bring you to miscellaneous. There's also another way that you can get to miscellaneous, and that is by a fairy ring, which I think personally is a little bit easier. So I'm going to show you how to get there. You can use your teleport quest cape or whatever, go to the nearest fairy ring, use your dream and staff and configure it. And you can type in C, um, CIP, I believe, which is miscellanea. Yep, CIP, and that will bring you to miscellanea. So those are the two methods. To start the quest, you really probably should go ahead and go through the Fermanic. Okay, so once you have those two quests completed, there's this thing called approval. As you can see in the top left-hand corner, my approval rating is at 92%. So there's a couple ways you can get your approval up. You can do it by mining, by raking these uh, weeds, um, by chopping, and by fishing, I believe. Um, I know for a fact that raking the weeds has, seems to be the fastest because you get 1% per rake and um, chopping maple logs is pretty good as well. You want this to 100% uh, before you collect your favor. And I will explain more about this and how to set it up and etc. once you have the quest complete. So I'm going to go ahead and just get 100% favor um, in order to really collect and describe what's going on. But also, Miscellanea is basically this big old island and Ectaria is on the other side. So yeah, you can mine, woodcut, rake. I suggest sticking to woodcutting and raking just because they're the fastest. Another thing is with miscellanea, you really need to have 100% favor before you collect because that's how I've always done it and it seems to work out pretty good. Another thing is I wouldn't start miscellanea unless you have at least 750k, and that's minimum. And on an Iron Man, that can be a struggle, so you need to make sure you have pretty good extra cash. Um, but it's 110% worth it because you get so many herbs, seeds, bird nest, uh, logs. It's just very important on an Iron Man, and I guarantee that money seems like a lot, but it's worth it. And for a main account, you do profit. So that's always really nice. You profit. Um, I don't know how much. I can't give that information because I'm going to specifically put this out there for Ironman. But 
you do make profits and gains as long as you always have over 750k in the coffer. So we're almost at 100% in favor. I thought I was a little higher in favor, but I guess I wasn't. But this should only take a second. Uh, wow, we're still at 99%. Well, let's just rake a weed. So before you collect or put anything in the coffer, have it at 100% because your workers are going to give you the most profit at 100% favor approval. That means that everybody in the village is happy with you. So here's how you're going to start your miscellanea. After um, you've completed Royal Trouble and uh, thrown a miscellanea, you're going to go, this is also where you start thrown a miscellanea, by the way. But anyway, Advisor Grimm is who you're going to collect from. And I will show you how to set this up. So let's look at this resource allocation. Right now, I have 2 million coins in the copper. That's really set. That's going to last me for a while. So I'm not going to add any more coins in here. I checked my miscellanea last week or a week or two weeks ago. So it hasn't been that long. I got 2 mil left. It will probably last me for... I would say that would probably last me for about half a month to a month. So 15 to 30 days, probably 30 days. It lasts pretty long. So let's go over things. You can get supplies such as fishing or fish, fish, um, farming supplies, teak or mahogany wood. You can get mining like coal. You can get herbs, you can get flax, and you can also get woods. Now, I'm going to explain what is the best for Iron Man, okay? It really depends on what you need, but for example, if you're wanting herbs for Herbler because Miscellanea gives you so many herbs, it is a great way to really level up your Herbler on Iron Man. I highly suggest you put the herbs on 100% at all times. The herbs that you get from Miscellanea is fantastic, and always keep it at 100% on herbs. Next, I usually have this on half on wood cutting. Okay, so you get to do a full and then a half after you've completed Royal Trouble on top of uh, Throne of Miscellanea. But sometimes I change this wood to teak and I'll put this half into teak. Um, and the reason why is because I use teak logs into planks for construction purposes. But if I'm not working on construction, I always put it in wood because wood gives you a lot of bird nests, and bird nests have a lot of seed uh, seeds, and they're really great for farming. And those bird nests are also fantastic for cerebrus. So this is a great way to start out. If you're in dire need for coal, you can put the other half in mining. I personally never put the other half in mining because I get coal through raids and through mining, and I I just would rather mine it myself. I find it more efficient getting those bird nests and seeds um, and doing herbler or putting it into teak and using it for construction. That's my advice. I never put it in farm. I never put it in fishing. That is something I could do in my own time. I usually put at least 1.5 million in the coffer. That's me. That's going to last you about a week and a half, which is fantastic. Uh, don't let it go below 750k because your workers will not be working at their optimal potential. Make sure there's at least 750k in the copper every single day. Okay, and this is where you can deposit and withdraw money. Alright, so this is what your kingdom is probably going to look after one week. I'm going to hit collect one to two weeks. Okay, so you're going to say collect resources. And here I have 30 bird nest. Well, more than 30, probably about 43 or so, 44, 45 bird nests, which is fantastic after two weeks. 4K maple logs and um, 40 renar seeds, or weeds, I'm sorry, and uh, a seeds, a couple seeds. The seeds aren't that great, but a renar seed is always nice. Um, and as you can see, we're going to go ahead and open up all those essentials at the bank. So that will be exciting. Let's go ahead and make sure that everything is all set up. I've got 100% favor. I've collected everything. We're going to teleport to Lumbridge and kind of see what we can get out of those bird's nest. Now you can see people's miscellaneous after months of gathering. 
that's fine. I think you should check it at least once a month. And as starting out as an Ironman, you're not going to have a lot of cash. So you're going to have to check it very often because 750K is going to be very hard to start out for you. And you're going to have to make sure you don't go below that 750K a day. And so one mil is good to start out and check it every week, I would say, or every half a week. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and take out these birds, uh, this bird nest. Um, so you can kind of see the seeds we got going here. This is just an example. Okay. Sometimes the seeds aren't that great and sometimes they're phenomenal. You never know what you're going to get. But what I love is that we have 40 nests for 40 Sarah brews, just like that. I mean, that is beautiful to me. I am very happy with that. So, and this is only after probably a week and a half to two weeks. I would say two weeks. So, 40 bird nests for two weeks just sitting. And the profit, you will always profit. Even as a main account, no worries. Um, everything should be good. So, that's definitely a plus. And we will look at all these seeds. But these seeds are great for farming. We got a couple bird eggs, which I don't care too much about. But we'll get there. Um, you can use that for prayer in the woodcutting guild. All right, so we almost got this all done. Put these um, stuff in there. Okay, so let's look at what we've got. Okay, um, we got four willow seeds, which is fantastic starting out in farming. I'm 78 farming, so I don't really use those. Maples are fantastic. That gives you a lot of XP. Apple tree seeds. Those are great starting out. Curry tree seeds, very good. Orange tree. Acorns I drop because I don't need them at my level. At lower levels, they're fantastic. A yew tree seed, which is great. We want those. Pyapa is pi, awesome. I drop the gum seeds. Um, pineapples, very good. Palm and banana. So really, you get a great amount of seeds. That alone in the farming XP, I don't even know. That's at least 120 to 150 to 200k farming XP, just like that. So that's really fantastic. Now, actually getting yourself to farm it is another story. And also, look at these Raynar weeds. This is 40 prayer pots just chilling, ready to be made. So I really hope this guide really helped y'all out. Put something new on my channel. I hope I did the best I could explaining it. Miscellanea is a hard concept, but before you collect, make sure it's 100%. Always have above 100, 750k in your coffer and enjoy everything you get out of it and um, know that it's definitely worth doing. Thank you so much for watching, guys.